वेलकम स्टूडेंट माय नेम इज बाकी विद कमल फ्रॉम एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वेलकम टू द माय ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग सब्जेक्ट टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज अ डक्ट डिजाइन इन दिस चैप्टर टुडे टॉपिक इज अ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डक्ट प्रेशर लॉसेस इन द इक्विवेलेंट डायमीटर ऑफ डक्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय द डक्ट डक्ट इज नथिंग बट डक्ट इज अ पाइप और कंडुइट विद सप्लाई टू एयर फ्रॉम एच टू condition space and it is also return air from condition space to the atmospheric or outside that is a conduit or it is a pipe which is a, uh, it's a component of air handling unit okay this is the definition of duct this is our duct this is uh, first it may be a cross section like a rectangle or circular or like a ellipse elliptical okay this is all are the duct which supply Uh, air, cold air, or warm air, cold or warm according to the requirement from AHU, AHU to condition space or desired space, condition space that is known as a duct. AHU is nothing but air handling unit which consists of fan and filter, etc. Fan filter, etc. This is our main fundamental purpose of the duct. This is the definition. Duct are conduits or passages used for air distribution in air conditioning system. Basics of function of the duct. There are five uh, designations of duct. First type is a supply air duct. Supply air duct is nothing but air supply from AH to conditioning space. That is known as a supply air duct, or we can say main duct. Okay. Um, Supply condition air from air to the condition area. Return air duct. Return air duct is nothing but it takes the air return from condition space to the again air to. Next is fresh air duct. Fresh air duct is a supply outside or outdoor air to the air to. That means if uh, this is our suppose this this is our air to component and this is our outside air comes into the air to. And this is supplied to the our condition space or room. This is the fresh air duct. This this duct is used with fresh air duct. This is our main uh, supply air duct, and this air is again returned to uh, supply to the air tube. That is known as a return air. This is the definition. Next fourth is the exhaust air duct that carries or discharges air to our outdoors. That means uh, remaining air after return air duct is supplied to the uh, outdoors. Exhaust air is taken from toilets, kitchen, laboratories, and other areas requiring ventilation. That is known as the exhaust air duct. Fifth one is the mixed air duct. Mixed air from outdoor air and return air then supply this mixed air to the air tube. That is known as the mixed air duct. Next topic is the duct classification. Duct duct classification are mainly in terms of velocity and pressure. Duct pressure classification influences duct strength, deflection, and air leakage. If pressure is high in the duct, that means uh, uh, condition occurring like air leakage, maybe deflection, the strength of duct is reduces. So its a pressure of in duct is like a according to requirement. So and next is further classification that is a duct velocity that influences noise, vibration, friction losses, and fan power. If velocity in duct of air is a way more high that means vibration occurs and the noise level is increases so according to low velocity ducts are three types low velocity medium velocity and high velocity and according to pressure classification the ducts are classified according to pressure classification ducts are classified into three types low pressure medium pressure and high pressure in duct pressure is uh, less than 50 mm of water gauge that means the here head is given okay next is medium pressure the like, uh, pressure in between duct is 50 mm to 150 mm of water gauge high pressure duct that is 150 mm to 250 mm of water gauge next is generally good engineering practice for so medium pressure for primary air duct are used and low pressure for secondary Uh, secondary ducts is used. General good engineering practice are medium pressure for primary air duct are used, and low pressure for secondary duct are used. 
Next is duct criteria. What is the criteria for duct design? First is shape of duct. We already discussed shape of duct is a uh, it may be a rectangle, it may be circular, it may be a cylinder. These three types of ducts are used in duct designing. This is a circular type duct, this is our rectangle type duct, this is our elliptical type duct. Next is aspect ratio. This is the main criteria for designing a duct. Aspect ratio of duct. Aspect ratio of duct is nothing but it is the ratio of width upon depth. Sometimes it is written as W also. So B by D ratio, B by D ratio, or we can say W by D ratio is called aspect ratio. The aspect ratio is the relationship between the width and height of duct expressed as a ratio of W by H. W by H. Suppose like a, this is our rectangle cross section of duct. There is a W width and there is a H. So ratio of aspect ratio W by H. Okay. Next is a, uh, increasing the aspect ratio increases both the installation cost and operating cost of the system. If aspect ratio is increases, so installation cost and operating cost both are increases. Okay. And an optimum aspect ratio can be between 1 to 3. 1 or 3. 1, and, 1 to 3 or 1 and 3 is aspect ratio. That means uh, D by D or, or W by H is equal to 1 or 3. That is our aspect ratio. Next is pressure in the Ducts. Uh, static pressure. First of all, what is static pressure? It is the pressure on duct wall. Duct wall. So pressure exerted on the duct wall. There is a air is flowing from left to right. So pressure exerted on this duct wall that is known as static pressure. If a fan blowing into a completely closed duct, it will create only static pressure because there is a no air flow through the duct. There is a no air through the that there is no static pressure that is in short we can say sp next is dynamic or velocity pressure vp its kinetic energy of the unit of air flow in air stream the dynamic pressure is a function of both air velocity and density if velocity is increases the pressure is increases and density is a function of velocity and density so dynamic pressure is given by rho v rho v square by so dynamic pressure increases the velocity increases. Okay, this is our dynamic pressure. The total pressure is nothing but the summation of the both SP and VP. The consist of pressure of air exerted in the direction of flow, in the direction of flow or velocity pressure, plus pressure air air exerted perpendicular to plane of container through which the air is moves, through which air is moved. That means so pressure exerted in the direction is dynamic and pressure exerted perpendicular direction that is a static pressure. That is the formula for total pressure PV plus PS. PT uh, stands for total pressure, PV stands for velocity pressure and PS stands for static pressure. Next is pressure losses in the duct. Which type of pressure losses in the duct? Because the system resistance in the duct work has uh, three components. Friction losses. First is friction losses due to friction loss. Pressure loss due to friction. Resistance to air flow caused by duct size, roughness of duct, wall, and air velocity. This is the friction losses. Next is dynamic losses. Resistance to air flow it means uh, to resist the flow of air caused by change in air velocity. Uh, if you change the velocity, that means resistance to air flow and direction as a bend. If you use, if you use bend. That means our dynamic losses are uppers. Next is equivalent pressure loss. Resistance to air flow caused by component such as diffuser, coil, and filters. If these components are used, that means are we called as a equipment pressure loss. Because of we use the equipment, that means pressure is pressure losses. Next is pressure loss due to friction in ducts. So first we study pressure loss due to friction in duct. So already we know that. Uh, in uh, Darcy Wiesbeck equation flow through five in a fluid mechanics, what is the friction losses? What is friction losses? So formula is given in that is a pressure losses Pf is equals to F L V square to dH. Here, what is to dF? There is a dF. There is a hydraulic mean depth. That is a dH. So formula Pf is equals to F L V square divided by two dH. That is our formula. This is known as a Darcy-Wiesbeck equation. From Darcy-Wiesbeck equation, there is a pressure loss. 
So we can calculate the pressure loss due to friction by using of this formula. What is DS? DH is hydraulic mean depth. What is TF? Pressure loss due to friction. F is a frictional factor depending upon the surface of the duct. Next, length of duct, uh, density of air, rho, and that is V is the mean velocity of air in duct. This is all the parameters we already studied in the fluid mechanics subject. That formula is used to be a pressure loss due to friction in ducts. DH hydraulic mean depth. And now, how to calculate hydraulic mean depth? What is hydraulic mean depth? Cross section area, that is a cross section area, A by B, the perimeter of the duct. Cross section area and weighted perimeter of the duct, that is a hydraulic mean depth. Okay, next, for circular, uh, for rectangular, hydraulic mean depth is a AB divided by TA plus B. How it is come is equals to what is this A by perimeter. What is area? A into B. That is our rectangle size is A and B are sorry. If it is our rectangle, B is a width and A is a height suppose. So A into B, 2 perimeter is what? A plus B. That is the uh, formula for the rectangle. Next is DH uh, for circular. Uh, hydraulic mean depth for circular D by 4. So what is area of the circular? That is a pi by 4 D square. What is the perimeter? Perimeters of this uh, pi d. So we can uh, use this formula and so uh, the hydraulic mean depth for circular is d by 4. Next is pressure losses, uh, dynamic losses in the duct. Which type of dynamic losses in duct occurs? So then that means pressure loss due to enlargement. Pressure loss due to enlargement. First, if this is the uh, let explain here, this is our pi. Or conduit velocity v area v point in this direction and suddenly area is increases this pi area is increased that means suddenly due to enlargement pressure is lost pressure is lost how much amount of pressure is lost due to enlargement that is the pressure loss due to enlargement one minus one minus a one by a two whole square into V1 divided by 4.04 square. Not necessary to derive this equation, just remember only formula because this derivation we already studied in the fluid mechanics. So, for example, out of your just uh, for numerical, remember this formula. Okay, pressure loss due to enlargement. What is A1? A1 is the cross section area at here. Cross section area here, and A2 is what? Cross section area here. And V1 is the velocity at here and V2 is velocity of here. Okay. C1 is what? Uh, 1 minus A1 minus A2. Uh, A1 1 minus A1 by A2 whole square. So we assume a uh, sufficient one factor that is a C1. That is known as a C1. So formula for the pressure is Cr into C1 V1 by 4.04 square. And final formula of the pressure loss is this one. Okay. Next is pressure loss due to contraction. So pressure loss due to contraction just opposite of the pressure loss due to expansion. Just conditions are opposite. Area is suddenly decreases or contraction. That's why the formula is 1 minus A1 by A2 raised to uh, square into V1. Same. Formula is the same. No changes. And C1 is a V1 by 4.04 raised to square. And C2 is a two constants R here we assume. Okay. Next, uh, derivation and theory, equivalent diameter of circular duct for a rectangular duct. That means, we calculate the equivalent diameter for circular duct, for a uh, circular rectangular duct. So, it means we calculate the circular uh, duct for rectangular duct. That means, if rectangular data is given, we calculate the diameter for it. But some conditions are applied. So, let's start case 1 for this. Case 1 is what? When the quantity of air passing through the rectangular duct, that means quantity, this is our rectangular duct and this is our circular duct. The quantity of air that is known as a discharge passing through the, this both duct, where this discharge is the same for rectangular or for uh, circular. So, how to derive this formula? First, velocity of air passing through the circular duct. What is the velocity of passing through a circular duct? That is only just apply continuity equation. Vc, Q by Ac. This is the for the uh, continuity from this uh, 
continuity equation okay velocity of air passing through the rectangular so we also apply here continuity equation vr equals to q by ar what is ar for uh, rectangular a into b what is the ac for the circular that is a pi by 4 d square just only apply the formula right now next is pressure loss due to friction we already studied pressure loss due to due to friction that is equals to fl rho b square by 2 dh not dh this is a dh here so q into va we already know that discharge is equals to q into va so we apply here both the formula discharge we know that so da what is dh dh is the hydraulic meter already discussed so pressure loss in the circular pipe pf is equals to flv 2 square pc by 2 into ac raised to q just we put the value of v velocity value of the v that is the velocity here okay so we calculate the pf pressure loss in the circular pipe what is pc here what is pc pc is nothing but it is a perimeter of circular perimeter because we put the value of dh put the value of dh here okay and for similarly for the rectangular pipe pf is equal to fl v 2 squared by 2 pr divided by a ar is to 2 so as given condition pf pressure in both same friction losses are same length of duct both that are same density for both air I mean, rectangular duct and uh, circular duct are same and quantity of air flowing in the rectangular and the circular duct are same that means the discharge are same so apply this condition in the formula and equate with the formula we obtain this one pf pc is equals to ac q is equals to pr divided by ar is to q so we know that the perimeter of circular and area of circular we know that the perimeter of rectangular and area of rectangular so apply just put the formula for here and we obtain a diameter is equal to this one. This is our diameter. This is our diameter. But remember, condition is what? Discharge for circular is equal to discharge for rectangular. That time for calculated equivalent diameter for both are this. Okay. So remember this formula. So we use this formula in the numerical. Next is equivalent diameter of circular duct for rectangular duct, case 2, case number 2. What is case 2? When the velocity of air passing through the rectangular and circular duct are same. That means if uh, in velocity in this and velocity of circular both are the same, velocity are the same. So let's derive this formula. Pressure loss in both the pipes is like similar like a previous uh, article and uh, we apply the condition PF. F friction losses, L is length, rho is density, V is the velocity for circular duct and rectangular ducts are same. But here in this case, discharge are not same. That means uh, Q is replaced by V. That is the difference. So we uh, apply this formula and put all the values uh, regarding for circular, for rectangular. And uh, here we use continuity equation Q over VA. So we obtain PC by AC for circular. And PR by VR and put the value of PC, AC, PR and AR. So we obtain D by 4 equals to AB divided by 2 A plus B. So final formula is D is equals to 2 AB divided by A plus B. So D is equals to D equals to 2 AB A plus B when velocity are same. So this is the formula when the velocity in the rectangular duct and circular duct are same.